Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly optimize one of our trading robots using CTrader Desktop. To do this, we're going to go to the Automate tab. And from here, we're going to go to the CAD JPY. This is the Neptune trading robot. I'm going to add a CBOT instance. I'm going to choose CAD JPY. And once I've selected the CBOT instance, I click on the instance. And up here, you've got three tabs. One is for trading, one is for backtesting, and one is for optimization. I'm going to pick the optimization tab. I'm going to go from 1906 2023 to 1906 2022. So this is going to be one year back test. Um, and they're going to set the back test settings to a starting capital of 1000. I'll leave the commission at 30 per million. I'm going to leave it at one bars per uh, from server. And I'm going to select the live um, spread, which is 0.6 currently. Next, I'm going to click on the tab here. Sorry, the button. And now these are the CBOT parameters that you can see on the right hand side. I'll just quickly go through. These are all the CBOT parameters. And I'm going to show you how to very quickly optimize certain parameters. So the quickest way to do it for the Nepton, Neptune trading robot is to disable all of the parameters that I'm going to do now. So leave buy and sell as yes. The, you want to optimize the stop loss buy, stop loss sell, take profit buy and take profit sell. You want to keep those as they are, just leave them. Deselect all of these settings and the trading hours. And what I'm doing now is by deselecting, it means they do not get optimized. So none of this we want to optimize currently for a quick optimization. So now all I'm going to optimize is the take profit and stop loss. And down here, I want to optimize all of the indicator values. So optimizer one all the way to optimizer 62. So this CBOT uses 62 trend indicators. Now I want to optimize the settings for these indicators to give the best possible results for a back test. Next, you have some other settings. I'm going to leave these as standard. So maximize net profit, minimize equity drawdown, and maximize winning trades. And optimization method, leave it as genetic. And resources, I'm going to leave mine at 55. I've got a Core i9 processor on my laptop. I'm now going to select the best auto pass. I'm going to bring this window down. And I'm going to click the play button. Now, as I said, I'm using a Core i9 processor uh, laptop, and up here it should give you the amount of time remaining for this for this optimization. It's got it as 12 minutes. What it's going to do is go through all the passes, and at the end of 12 minutes or 10 minutes now, it's going to select the best possible pass, and we can apply our settings. And as you can see, it's currently going through these values now. There's nine minutes left. So rather you wait nine minutes for this to happen. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come, go make a cup of tea and come back and show you the end result after the nine minutes has passed. Okay, so the back testing is just completed. Um, in the end, it took 14 minutes and five seconds. And as you can see here, there's a nice exponential growth for the net profit. And where you've got a little gray shaded area that shows you your equity drawdown. So what I'm going to do now, the highlighted entry here is the selected or the best optimized pass. I'm going to click on the apply button. And on the right hand side, you should see these values change as it gets applied. Now they've been applied. Um, before I go further, I'm going to go to the trade statistics uh, tab and open the trade statistics tab. And as you can see, um, we had a starting capital of 1000. It ended up being a net profit of 171, which is 17%. And the amount of balance drawdown, so that's your original two uh, 1000, uh, 1000. Um, it was at risk 0.59%. So at any time in that one year, the maximum risk that you had of your 1000 units was or pounds is 0.59%. And your equity drawdown, which is the um, your balance plus the profit was 1.15%. So this is a very low drawdown uh, percentages. Um, it didn't open many trades, 80 trades were open, 75 trades were winning and five trades were losing. So the trade statistics gives you some more information. And the equity chart shows you the growth. Now, please remember that um, this a back test is not an indication of um, profits or any kind of winnings that you're going to get when you run it live. All it is is a back test on historical data using parameters that we've optimized or data fitted for that area. The idea is that you will use these settings for trading in the future and you'll apply that with your existing trading skills. I wouldn't auto run, automatically run any robot 100%, even though you can, because the market conditions can be unpredictable. 
So you, it may run for an X amount of time, but at some point, an event in the market will cause your trading robot to fail. So you need to manage your open positions at all times as well. So now I've applied these settings, I'm going to go to the back test tab. Now we're just going to run a back test with the settings that we've just um, applied. So I'm going to go back to, again, 19th of the 6th, 2022, 19th of the 6th, 2023. Make sure that we've got the same back test settings. So 1000, the same values here. We can select the um, spread and I'm going to click the play button. As I go ahead and run the back test, and as you can see, um, that just clarifies that your back test results are very similar to optimization. Now, once you've got that set, I would also go ahead and click on the save icon there and save your settings to your hard drive so you don't lose them. So this is just a quick demonstration to show you how to quickly optimize your settings for a Net Neptune trading robot. I'm just quickly now going to show you some um, resources to help you learn more about backtesting, optimization, and other things like that. Okay, if you come to our website, which is clickalgo.com, um, you can find the robot that I was just talking about, or the trading setting, just by typing Neptune into the search box. And there's a Forex bundle there. There's 10 separate um, trading robots, so you can just click on each individual one, and you can find them quite easily on our website through the search box there. Um, but if you want to find out how to get access to them in the initial one, you just type in Neptune and that will go to the actual main page. OK, so what I'm going to show you now is under education. Oops, no articles. We've got Algo Trading Facts. I recommend that you read this. And this will give you more information about automated trading, the um, um, advantages and disadvantages, and also why backtest CBOTs. So this, read this as well. This will explain to you why you should backtest CBOTs. So if you are thinking of buying one of our products, um, what we're showing you is how to easily optimize these settings so that you don't need to contact us or request optimization settings. You can just do it yourself on a regular basis. You can optimize over one year, one month, 10 years, um, whatever you feel is best for you. But uh, again, I do recommend that you actually apply your manual trading skills with an automated trading system and work together rather than rely on an automated trading system 100%. Okay, that's it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much.